or kill the tape for this flyweight fight. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC flyweight champion of the world, Brandon the Assassin Baby Moreno. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Amir the Prince Abbasi. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here he is, the former UFC flyweight champion, Brandon Moreno. And when we asked him in our fight meeting about ways to win this fight, he talked a lot about the jab, but he also believes if this fight hits a transition and goes to the ground, he will have a decided advantage in the jiu-jitsu realm. Let us see if it plays out that way. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. His misses are out of ten. Oh, just misses with the kick. Well, he's got a pretty good side kick, and you saw it right there. He did it great, and he pushed his opponent back. Notice how it creates space and allows him to get back to where he's coming. Two minutes have gone by here, round one. Moreno's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Oh, huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up kill. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. El Bazi gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Jab there by Moreno. He's got to start kicking, kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. That one connected. Oh! One minute. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes and to do a look at the jab. Oh, the hook. Unable to connect there. Final seconds here. So we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two on the way. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Big hit. Big leather leather on both sides in that exchange. 
right hook to the head block. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts, so he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. Alvazi's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. to go in round two. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Moreno's in half goal. Yep, got to be very careful there. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Abazi's back in full guard now. And there you go, again, half guard. Big ground and pound. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Oh, it looks like that Darcy's tight. This has got to be the end of the fight. Oh, he got out. He cleared his leg, got back to his back, and created some space between him and his opponent to stay out of that Darcy shoot. Amir Albazi's in half guard now. Right into side control. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. Look at that. Recognize who's about to lose position. Moreno's back in side control. Two rounds in the books. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, they attend to the fighter on the stool, and I guess if you are going to be cut open, cheek ain't a bad place for it. Yeah, it's the best spot, right? You never want to be cut. You never want to be bleeding. But if it's on the cheek, it's as good of a spot as it can be. But you still got to do something different, though, because even though the blood isn't going in your eye, every time you get hit there, it's horrible. Ready. Ready. Third round underway. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, that body kick could have felt good. Moreno gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Overhand lands. He's throwing bombs. Every time they come into contact, he is throwing bombs. Oh, nice jab to the dome by Amir al -Bas. Perfect execution as he gets the single leg takedown. He passes the half guard. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how Pace, look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Al Bazi. Gotta be careful here. Another ground strike for good measure. Making all these shots count. Oh, he's got his back. About two minutes here to go in round three. 
Watch this. this man is landing brutal from the top. Close guard. Good work from the top here by Brandon Moreno. Another strike gets through from the top position. He passes the half. Moreno's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. Well, his superior grappling has certainly been the lead narrative in this one. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's doing a great job of dictating to his opponent, not allowing him to make any decisions in regards to the fight. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Brandon the Assassin Baby Moreno! All right, no draw, no controversy tonight. Brandon Moreno, the Assassin Baby, your winner by decision. These championship rounds that he has fought in over the course of his career has prepared him for the long fight, and he looked comfortable throughout this fight tonight. Great job by the Assassin Baby.